grateful to be in here. I appreciate the opportunity. And I've been writing this blog about human relationships in all situations in family life. However you see with friends and all, all that situation that includes shop when you're doing working or whatever. And that's basically the short introduction about me and what I I've been writing stuff down and learning in the movies, books and basically wherever I found something interesting me and I can use it in my investigations and talk about the idea with the people and that's about it. See, it is it's a privilege to have you here today, Yari, and is a, and it's a privilege to all our listeners. We are here to serve you guys. We are here to share the love with you guys. We are here to share life under the sun with you guys. So today we'll be talking about uh, regret. You know, regret. Like, why regret? Like, sometimes we just live our lives and you know into this place of us having all the time of the war you know and not doing the things that we really want to do or not having the relationship that we really want to have or that we really want to have with our family with our friends or with any other human being that we're meeting out there till we get to the point where you know we are laying there on that bed dying and we start having all these thoughts and all these sad feelings like we wish we wish we had the time you know to just say to a mother i love you or to say to a friend that i'm sorry you know so those are the things that we'll be covering today and we'll talk about gratitude you know the the gratitude attitude can we actually live a life where we can focus on gratitude where we can be grateful for who we are for the people that we meet for for the things that we are able to achieve you know we will talk about falling in love you know falling in love or giving the love out there or manifesting the love out there you know, feeling the love. Out there. We're talking about uh, getting, getting what you give, because technically the law of nature is the law of seed, which is the law of you receiving whatever you put out there. You know, you cannot plant few tomatoes and expect some potatoes. So I have this headline in my head: the idea of regretments. At uh, the beginning, I was thinking to say this, that in the relationship, loving or falling in love doesn't happen through the eyes. It happens from the mind. And I have been thinking that that kind of mind that wants to equal serve for the others uh, as in the own self and the others, equal service that this is the good thing to me and I believe this might be the good thing to you or leave it like that and um, about loving thing many people hold back with the feeling of love or giving love receiving love however you like to put it <laughs> I can honestly say that I love life I live my life to the fullest that I can in the different moments and um, I had won this situation into my past life with one girl I used to date we we had been together just a few months and I said to her that I love you I honestly said that I love you of course she want me to justify my words of loving her and she said to me that <coughs> No, no, you can, you cannot me say, you cannot mean that, you cannot say that to me, at this point. But <laughs> I was, I was sure of my feelings at the moment. And even though it's been many years that happened, 
I still know that I didn't hold back with my love, so I do not have any regrets about it. And there is actually mon one movie that told the message about regretments and uh, how to let go of it. And there is, the name of the movie is Forever Strong. And there is this one actor who is called Kelvix. The coach Kelvix. And uh, basically the movie tells about uh, rugby, the game named rugby. And the um, coach teaches the players to be forever strong on field and the off the field. Um, in one scene he said that First game. Let's play it like it's the last game. No regrets. And he advised this Rick Benning, the one of the players, he advised him to listen and pay attention to that own spirit inside of him and learning to listen. And the listening takes a lot of discipline. And the basic message as this, forgive and let go, so you will never have nothing to regret. So you're strong because you are honest and you're straight. So my firm belief is this, that we should find the attitude of gratitude of some, some things or people that is into our life at the moment, in the present moment in whatever situations we live in at the moment there could be some things to be grateful maybe maybe some little things like friends some stuff maybe chair <laughs> or whatever is important to you and you you can go around your apartment and lay hand down on the sofa or table and you just say that I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful that I have this. You're starting to notice that you're feeling better to doing so. Thank you Yari for the for the clarity and you know for I would say especially the the story, the example that you you spoke about. Uh, there is something with regret. There is something with regret, which is regret always comes like somebody will say late because the deepest meaning of regret is too late. That's basically what it means. So why not be aware that there is this thing called regret that I don't think anybody, you know, can like can have a good feeling out of regret that's that's why it is regret so why not be aware of its existence and make sure that we actually live our life into the present that we actually you know put our love there now right now you know today and why not make sure that if i have that family member that parent that sister that brother or that cousin you know why not make sure that i just give them a call today and you know tell them that i'm, I'm sorry you know about whatever i did or whatever happened i mean you know, sometimes we don't need to bring that relation where it used to be you know but we can just you know make sure that we talk about it we let it go by just you know putting it out there by just making that call or by just putting together that meeting and meeting that friend that hurt us you know because it's not always about us hurting somebody we can be hurt some somewhere somehow they believe Even. that you know people have the right to express themselves to say whatever they want to say you know and to say it however they want to say it then we have the basic right and power to to take it you know the way we want to take it 
but the truth is at the end of the day the killer is not the weapon you know the killer is the one using the weapon and that's what i believe uh life energy is all about so so thank you <clears throat> yari for covering this subject and if you're out there today listening probably you have a friend you have a sister you have a brother or you have a parent you know some happen you might feel that is the type of things that you cannot forgive you might feel that is it's too hard to forgive it's too hard to let go you might feel like you rather die than letting go you know but i can assure you one thing is that burden is something that you don't want to carry with you because at the end of the day it's not going to help you you know life is yours to make it a happy one or to make it uh, an unhappy one but the easiest way to make it a happy one is to love does not matter what's going on may your love be above whatever is going on or whatever happened so i'm going to get back to to you here yari so that you can cover the the next subject that you have in store for us. there is an uh, expression that you get what you give um, i believe that we can use this in the level of mind and thoughts as well I supply this in though into those kind of situations that if I see some couple walking in the streets and they are together as lovers, there is many choices that I can do in that moment inside of my head. When I see them, I can think, like for example, I can think that I'm like this I'm grateful of that they can be together I allow some like that or even better than that happen to me <laughs> as well so that way my mind is open to receive it to myself as well so I am in the state of allowing I allow, I allow it to happen to others and when I allow it to happen to others I can receive it more like freely when I get that similar th situation I have this feeling that I allow it before to the others so I, ha I have no regrets to receive it for myself but if I been like mad in some situation for the others maybe I cannot show it as much when it's happening to me but it depends of your free will how you want to act, act upon in the different situations so basically everything is relying on the free will like Bruce Lee said if you give into emotion you lose yourself and um, my opinion is this that don't get me wrong in some level we should lose our mind so that we can create it again and when we will create it again it happens more into our terms not not anyone else's that if like in some situations many people want to ask some other opinions about will I take this girl as my girlfriend Will I go this? Will will I go somewhere? How about you think about it? Or they ask, Will I buy this? How am I looking at looking because I wear this or whatever? It's more about the feeling that I feel I want. This is my my privilege to have this or whatever. Anyhow, it's based on the free will in the order that we see it to be at the best 
choices of all options that we can be aware of at the moment. So best way to be aware of surrounding thing, things is to stay in the moment. Some level is more than hard to do if your mind is always shattered all over the place all the time. So I believe the focus it's good to focus your energy from your mind into those, thi those things that matters to you, like something that gives you tr the true passion, that this drives me, this motivates me, this gives me energy. I get energy, so I have more energy to give to the others. And where you can give energy through you to the others around you, there is this through feeling and through energy that flows from you. And of course it depends on us how we want to use that energy to serve us or the others. If we may to choose so. Anyhow, acknowledge that you have the power of your life. Actually, more specifically, you hold the power of your mind. So it's about us where we focus our energy from the mind and it's it's about the choices that we make every day mm -hmm. and um, all I can say to you is this use it as you feel it's best for you and the people around you but be sure <laughs> of that fact that you will face the consequences of it so take the responsibility of your acts and like through my understanding um, i think what uh yari you know like i'm just like trying to go through the the big lines and try to summarize it for you guys so like basically what, the big picture of what yari is saying here is whatever you want life to bring forward for you give it to life and life in ways that you cannot even start to guess you know will give it back you know uh, will will bring more of it into your life experience and the other thing i can add here is when we are given when we are given or when we are loving there is something really important we have to be aware of here is do not give with the purpose of receiving you know do not love with the expectation of being love in return that is it would be like us just being a capitalist you know trying to put a dollar and make fifty dollar out of that dollar you know give from a place of love give from a place of compassion give you know from a place of gratitude now why love why give from a place of love from a place of compassion from a place of gratitude you might not be aware of it if you are listening right now but your life or oh, life is feeling good to you you have moments of enjoyment you know of of happiness you know moments of hobbies and stuff like that just because there are other human beings around so it does not really matter how much money you make or how much money you do not have but at the end of the day what is making your life interesting is because you are sharing that life with the others and that's why when we're given we have to give from that place that place of love from that place of gratitude from that place of of compassion because that is just who we are the person the person that we meet out there is nothing else than our own self you know just sometimes stop for a minute and imagine a wall where you are all alone and I mean it like imagine a world where you are all alone 
then you will understand that all you can do into this life is to be grateful you know about absolutely everything around you because if you can imagine yourself all alone into a wall or into this wall then soon you will come to a realization which is that you cannot have fun you cannot even be you cannot go to work because you are alone so no need to go to work you cannot play cricket or soccer or baseball or whatever because you are alone you cannot go shopping because you will not even have anything called like shopping mall or anything like that so when you come to that awareness that you are able to do all these things in life you are able to enjoy all these things in life because of the presence of the others then you will start doing things from that place of gratitude you will start loving from that place you know of pure love you will start giving from that place of gratitude you will start acting from that place of compassion i will just going to get back to you now yari so that you can bring more of the clarity here yeah thank you for this uh yari um now i have a question for you like you know like sometimes we get into a relationship and uh we are so called in love with somebody for for some time you know when we are together with them we tell them all the love of the world how we cannot live without them how you know the whole love story <laughs> thing then for some reason when it happens mm-hmm. that these two are not together anymore some will even reach the point where they actually hate each other now personally the way i, uh, I look at it is i believe that the there are only two possibilities the first one is or uh, at the beginning or since the beginning it was not love at all but it was more of of i will say more of a type of selfish expression of oneself you know then the, the second possibility is it was just a misperception of love meaning a love mal understood and and i think it's probably that second option because i don't <clears throat> because when you look at the world around us we go to war actually because of love sometimes but is a love that we we don't totally comprehend we think that that's how we should express it or we think that that's how we should protect it or we think that that's how we should uh, basically manifest it but when i talk about love i usually talk about love in the pure sense of it meaning if it happens during your life that you have that special feeling for somebody i don't care what's going on i don't care what happened if it turn into hatred then it was or it was not love in the first point or is just a misunderstanding of love so i want your opinion about that about you know two people being two loving birds telling all the love of the whole, the, the entire universe then when the relationship is not there anymore they become like water on fire you know so i want you to comment a little bit on on that because i'm pretty sure that our, our listeners out there might be some who have been victim of that or some who have been doing it you know yeah so i go the second part as well because i believe that we might fall in love into idea our own idea of relationship and we basically we might lost the appreciation or though we lost the feeling of 
those things that make us falling in love this specific person. Like some level there could be that we love the openness of him or her and we lost the connection. We lost the connection to those things and matters which make us falling in love in the very beginning. And if we don't show our gratitude and appreciation and if we don't discuss about the ideas and make the some terms that this is the way I want to proceed. Are you in the same level with me? Are we going in the same way? So that that is the basic idea that I believe it might happen. Of course, there is many many others. Of of course, because it depends on the human being's past and what it's been experienced and how he handle it or how he grow like grow away from it <laughs> or choose to do in further situations so it's basically that we have might have lost the connection in the situations that make us falling in love in the first place and then there might be this different arguments about the money about the stuff about time if if there is some situation that or the man or the woman would like to do something often that it's very important to him or her and the other try to control it that no 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 you don't go there this is what we planned to do or something there is many different situations but this is the basic idea that i have about it yeah thank you yari um like something i want to add here like um you know the the thing we do here which is uh the show where you are the you know the, the the special guest today is the whole thing is about the misperception and the misperception lays in many many levels and there are many many layers now especially when we talk about the subject of love you know once i had uh some parents you know visiting and i had just a really really funny question for them but the question of course was with purpose because i wanted them to see basically what was going on what they were doing so i asked for the permission first if i can ask them a really tricky question so based on what was going on you know they were just all joyful saying you know joking about it like yeah the pressure that the the question will not be trickier than all the questions that they have been going through so far so i told them well let's see so I asked them a very simple question they have two kids all right so i asked the mother like which one of the two you like the most you know she took a moment of silence because I believe she was not expecting that <laughs> that's that type of question basically all of us we misperceive love yeah. most of the time we do because love let's say love is water you were talking about Bruce Lee right okay. love is water now okay. if you are water for some reason become beer then it's not water anymore you understand? Uh, in a way, I guess. Yeah, but now that water, you can put it in the plate. You can put it in here. You can put it even on your mattress where you sleep. Yeah. It will still be water, just being into different situations. Yeah. And I believe that pure love, that's what pure love is. You cannot love somebody today, like me saying that I love Sammy today, right? Then tomorrow, when you meet me again and say, Oh, Alex, how you doing, man? What about Sammy? How's he doing? Hey, don't talk about Sammy. Who is him? Shoo, I hate that guy. You know? <laughs> now, why uh, am I doing that? I'm yeah, doing because, that because... because it, it wasn't love. Love is pure. Yeah, there are only yeah. two options. Yeah. Or it wasn't love at the beginning. Yeah. You know? Or it's me 
not understanding what love is all yeah, about. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, okay. and I'm able to become his enemy just because I judge him. Yeah. Because something can happen. This is life. A lot of crap can happen. Yeah. Exactly. But forgiveness is important. Yeah. Letting go is important. Oh, that's a <laughs> good one. <laughs> a lot of information at once, but um, basically, I believe we we should learn to let go. In a way that, if if we had this situation that we have been in the relationship, friend relationship or the love relationship, and we say that we love, I love you, whatever, and we say it in the moment, we say that in the pure heart, and in the pure way that we can see the love exists at the moment. Of course, as I told that I love my girl, that girl that I was with a few years ago. Of course, I said at the moment that I love you, and I said it as much as I understood, understood that love is to me in the moment. But I can still say that in that moment, I, I know that I have learned much about love afterwards, but I know that in the moment I was feeling love as much as I could in the moment and of course I believe we should learn to let go if there is some difficult situations with some people that we change our opinion we walk in the different ways I, I believe that we can forgive for ourselves and the others and when we see the man we can be as a friend like yesterday but in the in some level we should know how to separate that this is this is not the way you treat me. It wasn't right. We can say it straight, but we can say with love that wasn't right. So this is the consequences of that how you treat me in the in that moment. Of course we can say that I have forgive you but I cannot be with you because I respect and love myself more than to accept that kind of treatment. For anyone but there there is sleight of hand in a way <laughs> that we can forgive like unforgive um, I, unconditional with under unconditional love yeah. and there is the appreciation still that I know that I learned this or that from him or her whoever it was we can appreciate the facts that we have learned from him yeah. and we can grow as a human being because of it we have yeah. we have this situation and we learn it and we can still say that I'm thankful for you that you teach this method to me but because of that you teach it to me I am stronger stronger to leave you be <laughs> as you are but I can do it with love and we can be like friends but when we see but it doesn't mean that we see all the time everywhere every day or whatever because we can appreciate the fact that I am stronger now because of you and we can go on stronger forever strong <laughs> yeah. that's my opinion about it thank you <laughs>